Hey peeps, this is Professor Penny here. Uh, obviously we're doing an ecology unit at the moment and um, Quinlan and I are in self-isolation. So, oh there he is. <laughs> Say hi. Hi to my students. Hi. So Quinlan's just found a bug that's come into our apartment. Um, so we're going to show you how to do and scientific observation of a bug. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, Quinlan, you go over there and let's do a scientific observation of a bug. Quinlan, what did you find? A mosquito looking thing. A mosquito looking thing. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if we'll be able to see that. Hang on, let's try to zoom. Professor Penny is not good with this. Okay. Wow, it's quite interesting. It's got like a long... Is that an antenna coming out the front? It looks like a tongue. Oh. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go now and do a scientific drawing of this. And we're going to try and label some parts and try to figure out what this bug is. Okay, bye. Quinn has just drawn this beautiful bug thingy. thingy and we're going to label it so put it down on the desk Quinn and we're going to show you how to label now labeling in science it's really important that we don't write you know downwards or like crooked we always point to something and then make sure we write straight okay so let's point to say the legs and maybe draw a line down here. Okay, and we're going to write legs going that way so it's nice and straight. Good. Okay, and how about the um, antenna? Okay. Let's say it's a tongue. No, it's not a tongue because it doesn't work like a tongue. Not like you and I use a tongue. It's an antenna, so it probably uses it to sense its its um that's close. It's good it's a good try. It's spelling. Well done. Okay. Remember we're gonna try and keep our writing really straight though, okay? Really straight. Okay, now the wings are really interesting on this animal. I wonder if um, I show you a close-up photo, whether you can add some more details. Okay, I'll show you a photo now. Ready? So Professor Quinn has just looked at a close-up picture of this bug's wings, and he's added some more details. What do the wings look like, Quinlan? Fuzzy and see-through. Yeah, they are see-through, aren't they? So that might help us look up and research what um, type of bug this is and what color body did it have? A brownish green. Yeah, it was brownish green. Had nice two big eyes at the front and a nice green body, didn't it? Eyes. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and label the rest of the diagram and we'll be back in a second. So Professor Quinn has just gone and labeled the rest of his diagram. He's done pretty good. So there's see-through wings, a green body, he's labelled the head. As you can see, he hasn't done any spelling practice this week. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got our scientific drawing. We're going to put a date on it. Can you put the date on it? Uh, uh, which I no, think because I don't Yeah, that. we'll do yes. that later. And... Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to hop on the internet and see if we can actually find the name of this bug. But don't worry if you can't do that. Um, it's still really good to be able to do scientific drawings of animals that maybe we don't normally pay attention to. Hey, maybe like we're flies. too busy. Yeah. So if you can find something that you can do a drawing of while you're at home, um, That'd be great. Okay, so see ya. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Um, 
we just really quickly went onto the internet and said, what bug is that? And there's actually a website called What Bug Is That from the CSIRO, which is an Australian um, website. Uh, they do research on Australian animals, etc. So it was actually, it took us two seconds, didn't it, to find it. Um, and we'll show you what we did. So hang on a second. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll come back. I don't know how to use this. So we hopped on the website and it says select a group and we thought it looked most closely to this one because it's got like one wing and these really long antennae. Um, so we clicked on that and lo and behold, look at this picture. It's our bug. So it's part of the lacewing family and this is its scientific name. Chrysopidae. We're just going to call him Chris. So our bug is Chris and Quinlan's just labeling his drawing and we're done. Bye. Oh, oh okay. Oh, lovely. Good job. Yeah, go stand back a bit. That's it. Nice. Good work.